Uh, joining us from Hong Kong tonight is Anthony Wu, who's China representative of the Center for Strategic Research and Analysis, CESRAN. Uh, and joining us from Delhi yes. is General G.D. Bakshi, former research fellow at IDSA. Now, we have seen a few rather strange, and if I may say so, Anthony, sour and insecure sounding responses from China, uh, especially in the press. Yes. Many people believe here that that is the well, position of the Chinese government. Uh, why, why is China taking yeah. the Indian missile launch so negatively? Well, I don't think China is very critical on this issue. It's just a standard protocol for the government to 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 talk to their own citizens and also outside uh, the other neighborhood and and say that the the launch of missile is something that is potentially dangerous. But in the long run, don't forget the. The Chinese government and Indian government are friendly governments, and they are trying to no, negotiate no, I, I, deals you know, this, for uh, a decade. Let, so, I, I, yes. the, the kind of comments we've seen, for example, you know, uh, in the in the editorial mm -hmm. pages of the Chinese papers, uh, fact is that India apparently is hoping to enter the missile club. Uh, goes on to say, India should not overestimate its strength, even if it has missiles that could reach most parts of China. That does not mean it will gain anything from being arrogant during disputes with China. What, you know, and I can go on and on. I mean, the, the, what is the basis for such a strongly negative reaction? I mean, does China not believe that India has done the right thing? It's well, a nuclear I, equalizer now. China really is, cannot be the global clearly, bully in but, the region. But I would say, yes. But I would say they. On the long run, there's nothing um, that, that, that there are some competition, for example, about oil or, or there, there's some competition. But there are also corporations, for example, um, it's obvious that there are so many trade agreements between two countries. And I would say the launch of missiles, um, the response is just as, ju just like a spark, some hiccups instead of some real danger posted on the chi uh, Chinese mainland. This and actually, the, the Chinese government is just doing their job to to satisfy the national sentiments. No. Just like the launch of missile is trying no, to what what national sentiments? What national sentiments? Satisfy. Are, what, what, what are people? For example, are, missile. The missile. The missile is said. Well, I I heard the, uh, your prime minister saying that that it, um, it's a is it that the launch of missile, the successful launch of missile, is something called uh, relate to mis, um, to to national pride. So I suppose that the missile actually not just for security um, in general sense, but also it it triggers national pride of Indian people. Am I correct? Does that same logic apply to China? So, so I would say. Does so, that, so does, say, does the same well, does the same could, logic could I, does the same logic Anthony just curious does the same logic apply to China because yeah be, exactly yeah, yeah because I, China I, has yeah, been I, I China has been so, repeatedly deploying long range missiles in the Tibet so, autonomous region so I would say we should Hasn't downplay it? I would say we should downplay national sentiment but do more tradings for example be more friendly more more cooperations is needed because we are now in a post cold war era so so trade is necessary for peaceful for for peaceful engagement so so I would say um Competition and cooperation are not necessarily uh, conflictual. We we should cooperate I, with each other. So so this for, just forget about the the Chinese official or no unofficial mass media which try to trigger uh, or I, try I'd to like critical to, about the, I, I'd the like to get a NI five and and also and also I would like to say that even um, well. I would like to say that uh, don't, don't over exaggerate things, and and I would say um, for for the long run, China no, and India I think, are, uh, are good. Uh, Anthony, <laughs> Anthony, you know a lot of people in India are extremely yeah. amused by the very you know almost a, a yes. nervous or a frightened response of of China to this to this missile test, considering the level of missile deployment that China has been doing in the Tibetan well, but, but, autonomous uh, region. What should be China's response? What should be China's response? Uh, for example, well, China, uh, is there any appropriate way like to, the rest to of the world, Anthony, to like, like the rest of the world? <laughs> that, like Pardon? the rest of the world which Excuse congratulates me? India on entering the ICBM club of six countries. To congratulate a potentially dangerous missile launching, really? um, and, launching and, uh, a potentially and how does, dangerous how, missile. I, I, I wonder, 
how Chinese missiles are yes. uh, potentially peaceful and Indian missiles are potentially uh, dangerous. The rest of the world, the United States, Russia, UK well, I, and France all welcome the Indian missile launch. Only China responding yeah, this way. But, General but Bakshi, don't don't let's worry. get a response just, from Delhi. It'll be, it'll, let's get a response from General Bakshi in Delhi. It's, it's just another General three Bakshi, to five days that you can yeah. actually... General Bakshi, what happened back, to China well, today? Back to normal. After the launch? The Dongfeng well, well, five of course, the there, there are missiles all missile over the place. Yeah, yeah, General Bakshi, please. And, and we have lived with it. Uh, we did not create a bravoha about it. Over uh, well, when we knew that it, US, it targeted UK us, it threatened us. What's it? The Dongfeng 31 uh, and 31A. Uh, Anthony, Anthony, I'd like missiles. you to, it's I'd like you to just listen to General Bakshi's response. The Dongfeng 21 series of missiles have been stationed in Tibet. Hello. And they have replaced the liquid fuel uh, series okay. of missiles. We have been in the crosshairs of the Chinese. I think the Agni 5 capability fills a very vital gap. So far, the northeast quadrant of the People's Republic of China was beyond the range of all our missile systems and even our manned systems. So we could not repay the Chinese compliment of targeting New Delhi or putting New Delhi in its crosshairs and the vital command and control center, the vital command and control target of Beijing was absolutely and all the north eastern Chinese cities were out of our range. Whereas every other Chi Indian city has been in the Chinese crosshair from the 70s onwards. We have lived with it, we expect China to live with it. But I think there is a clear implied message that you cannot hector that you cannot bully, that you cannot be a local hegemon. You will have to learn to deal with people in Asia on the basis of equality. We are not building these missiles so that they are used. We are building these missiles so that they deter, deter potential adversaries from pressing the nuclear or the missile button. I, 